Yo guys, what's up? It's me, Noah. I'm coming at you with another video. Today's gonna be a bit of a different video. I like to do reaction videos, but I've never done, like, music reaction videos. And, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, Red Hot Chili Peppers, are releasing a new album on April 1st titled Unlimited Love. And the second single has just come out. I would have done the reaction to Black Summer, but I was, uh, saving my first listen to experience it with my friends. But this song is called Poster Child, and it is the second single from the Red Hot Chili Peppers new album, Unlimited love. Let's hop into this. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Ooh. Already got a groove. Ellie Millen, Richard Hell, we're dancing at the Taco Bell. When someone heard a rebel yell, I think it was an infidel. Had a man and rob a plant with banter of a sack of fan. And used to buy Ulysses Grant to record at the wreck of that. Islamabad is on the night of banner at the riot squad. And if you want to be a mod, you'll have to meet me at the quad. You got the best of my life. That's a cool sound right there. On both sides. Both sides of the stereo has got that same sound coming. So it's like a chorus almost. Chorus effect. Hold on. Normally, I don't like to pause things while I'm reacting to them, but, like, there's a lot to talk about right here. Already, I like this more than Black Summer. Like, and I, I, I like Black Summer a lot. When that first came out, I was kind of, like, iffy on it, but, like, the more I listened to it, the more I really, really liked it. But this, this is just... I understand the comparisons to Navarro-era Chili Peppers, because to me, this sounds a lot like Walkabout, and I love Walkabout. Walkabout is... One of my favorite songs on One Hot Minute. I really like the texture elements in the background. Like, this song feels a lot more complete so far than Black Summer did. You know, like, it went through more of a refining process. You know, you can hear the bass really, really nicely. The guitar textures in the back. Oh my god, Chad's groove, the ghost notes, and the, the slight bass drum variations are just fantastic. I will say this, I can't understand a word that Kiedis is saying. Like, it's kind of like... If something's really, really tucked back in the mix and you don't really hear it, but you feel it. Like, I feel what Kiedis is saying here. I just don't understand what he's saying. It's more of the percussiveness in his rapping and, like, I guess rap singing that I'm noticing. And I like it. Like, I don't even have to know the words. I just really like what he's trying to go for here. Alright, I'll rewind. Ten seconds. Post God, that's good. I really like that. Whoa, whoa, I thought I just heard a Hammond organ. I, I, did I, do I, do my ears deceive me? I think I hear a Hammond organ. And the Chili's have used a Hammond organ before. They've used organ, Mellotron, Clavinet. They use that for texture stuff, but I thought I heard the organ. And if there is an organ in this song, we're done. No, this is like perfect. I'm sorry for pausing again, but this is like kind of blowing my mind right now. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to really try and listen for that organ because it sounded very tucked. Hold on. I'll take the rest of your show boat. You got the best of my yo go. I'll take the rest of your yo no. Steve Miller and the Randy Randy Joker dancing in the sand. Ben Morris in the Oscar Man, a festival that heaven can speak a Chico when the man was silent. There is an organ. MC5 kicked off the jam, a poncho full of contraband. Every queen was on the scene, the every kitty magazine. The boat ahead and Mr. King, my business. And there's 100%
the organ showing. Well, then I can't get up for no one else but you. Cream magazine that looks up in the. Okay. I know we're only two, like three minutes in. The organ. It's so tucked in the mix. But the fact that it's so tucked and like it paired so well with Frusciante's harmonies in that chorus, like they complemented each other so nicely. And like the organ shots, like the part where it's like, the whoa, like that organ shot, it sounds like something Billy Preston would do. And I, I mean, Billy Preston has worked with the Chili Peppers before. It just sounds like that kind of, like those kind of shots. Like it sounds like very intricate organ playing. That is, that is, I love this so far. Like, so far, this is like 10 times the song of Black Summer. And that's not to say Black Summer's bad. I've already said I like that. It's been on heavy rotation since it came out, but this might have to replace it. All right, I'm gonna really try hard not to stop anymore because some people don't like it when you stop halfway through. All right, also, Frusciante's tone is really nice. The organ, I can't get over it. I'm dumbfounded of how much I like that. That's an uncomfortable amount of liking I have for that song. Something really, really interesting I read, it was on a Reddit post. Someone said, uh, what's one thing that you're afraid of this new album won't have? And someone said, I'm afraid there's not gonna be any funk on it. There's funk on this album. That proves it. Oh my God. Dude, that's so good. Most of the song, I could not understand a word that Anthony Kiedis was saying. However, in the chorus, he was clear, like, you know, like, I'll be your poster child or whatever. Which I think also, that's a very cool line. And then, as the chorus, like, first chorus, it was just Kiedis. Second chorus, it was Frusciante with those really, really nice harmonies in the back. And then the third chorus, it was more Frusciante harmonies and organ layering. It, it's amazing. Like, how well the organ and the... Um, Frusciante's harmonies just complemented each other. Also, I gotta, I gotta throw compliments towards Flea. The bass in that song, there were a couple of times I noticed some runs where he was just running down. He had like the octave, just the one in the octave, and he just like boop -dip, boop -dip, boop -dip. love that. And of course, Chad, solid drummer. Solid groove in that song. That was, it, it, it was a better drum performance than Black Summer. I will say that for 100% certainty. It felt more groovy. It, it felt less generic. Like it felt like so chili peppers, but it 
didn't feel all right you've run your game when black summer came out i gave that like a six out of ten now that's at around a seven and a half out of ten this starting solid 8.5 out of 10. solid and i'm 100 saying this with certainty it will go up to a nine the more times i listen to this anyway that has been red hot chili peppers with their new single poster child i don't normally do reaction videos like this but i had to because they're like one of my favorite bands ever if you guys like this video um, and want to see more reactions to just some music that I'm that I new to leave a comment down below and like this video school's been really really busy and I've been busy a lot in my life too hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos for you guys but anyway that is gonna have to do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I will see you the next time bye guys